pleasure and thy girls in sleep. Why dost thou bend thine eyes upon the earth and stop so often when thou sitst alone? Why hast thou lost the fresh colour in thy cheeks and given my treasures and my rights of thee to thick eyed musing and cursed melancholy? In thy fate slumbers I by thee have watched and heard thee murmur tales of iron wars. Speak terms of manage to thy bounding steed. Cry courage to the field! And thou hast talked of salads and retires, of trenches, tents, and all the currents of a heavy fight. Thy spirit within thee hath been so at war that beads of sweat have stood upon thy brow like bubbles in the late deserted stream, and in thy face. Strange motions have appeared such as we see when men restrain their breath on some great sudden pest. Oh, what portents are these? Some heavy business hath my lord in hand, and I must know it, as he loves me not. What hear you, my lord? What sayest thou, my lady? What is it carries you away? What? My horse, my love, my horse. Out, you mad-headed ape! Away from have not such a deal of spleen as you are tossed with. In faith, I'll know your business, Harry, that I will. I feel my brother Mortimer doth stir about his title and have sent for you to line his enterprise. But if you go... So far afoot, I shall be weary, love. Come, come, Parakito, answer me directly unto this question that I ask. Faith, I'll throw ah, my little finger, Harry, ah, and if thou wilt not tell me all things true. Ah, away! Oh. Away, you trifle, love! I love thee not. I care not for thee, Kate. This is no world to play with mammoths and to tilt with lips. We must have bloody noses and cracked crowns and pass them current too. Touch me, my horse! What wouldst thou have with me? My lady, do you not love me? Do you not indeed? Well, do not then. For since you love me not, I will not love myself. Do you not love me? They tell me if you speak in jest or no. Come, wilt thou see me ride? And when I am on horseback, I will swear I love thee infinitely. But, hark you, Kate, I cannot have you henceforth question me whether I go or reason whereabout. Whether I must, I must. And to conclude this evening, must I leave you, gentle Kate. I know you wise, but yet no further wise than Harry Percy's wife. Ha! Constant you are, but yet a woman. And for secrecy's sake, no woman closer. For I well believe thou wilt not utter what thou dost not know. And so far will I trust thee, gentle Kate. How? So far? Not an inch farther. But hark you, Kate, whither I go, Thither shall you go to. Tonight will I set forth. Tomorrow you. Will this content you, Kate? It must. Of course. 